delivered some materials. Here they are. They're for making... Uh... What were they called again? Ah, these must be for magic pockets. I could tell right away. I've already made several orders worth now. No, no need. They've already prepaid several batches worth. When they told me what they'd be using them for, I even offered them a discount. But they insisted on paying the full amount, saying that I had a business to run. <laughs> it seems both their hearts and their pockets are made of gold. Wow. So, is Linny actually loaded? Mm, I can't say for sure, but who knows? Maybe there's good money to be made being a magician in Fontaine. Hey! Is this machine what you use to make stuff here? It looks really advanced! Why use your hands when a machine can do the work? It would be a waste not to use the latest technology. And wasting is a kind of crime. But where does a big machine like that get its power from? Ah, uh, well... It's a little complicated. I'm not sure I can put it in layman's terms for you. But basically, everything we usually use here in the city is powered by indemnidium. It's a type of energy that's produced from trials. Huh? How can trials produce energy? Well, I'm not completely sure of all the details myself, but basically... When a trial is in session, the Oratrice Mécanique d'Analyse Cardinale harvests people's belief in justice and converts it into energy to be used all around Fontaine. So that's what its other function is? Hmm. Hyman heard that the Oratrice was created by the Archon to make judgments. But... Hyman still doesn't get it. How could something unreliable like people's beliefs be turned into a stable power source for these machines? Oh, yeah! So that means the Hydro Archon relies on the machine to take the energy created by belief and turn it into power for all of Fontaine, right? Even though I've never heard anyone really put it that way before, it sounds like it makes sense. Besides Indemnidium, we have another type of energy called Numusia. It isn't produced by the power of the Archon, but it is unstable by nature. Even now, it still cannot be widely used by civilians. <sighs> I thought I'd find you hard at work, but here you are chatting the day away. Since you're already talking, I'm sure you wouldn't mind a few words with me. Y you again? Didn't I already promise you that I'd have the more I owe to Conferee of Cabriere by next month? Why are you hounding me now? Yeah, but how do we know that you won't go running off by the end of this month? I want 50% today. Wait, no, 70%. Huh? You... Seems business isn't so great for the workshop. We've already finished our job and delivered the materials. Maybe now's a good time to leave? Hey, hold on! Before you go around trying to collect payments, why don't you settle your own debts first? If Confrerie of Cabriere wants to poach clients from Northland Bank, that's fine. But I'm afraid you still owe the bank a hefty sum of more. So why don't we work things out between us first, before you get back to your little conversation here? Ah, uh, you're from Northland Bank. But we said we'll pay everything we owe next month. Why are you hounding me now? Uh, Traveler, Paimon! I didn't think I'd run into you here in Fontaine. What are the chances? We're surprised to see you too! What are you doing here in Fontaine? You didn't want to stay in Snezhnaya? <laughs> Long story short, I've already been in Fontaine for some time now, and honestly, things have been pretty boring. But it seems that fate brought our paths together today. Not only will I have some good friends here now, but ones who always seem to find trouble. Either way you look at it, it seems things are going to get a lot more interesting now. Pretty sure we'd want to avoid anything that you'd find interesting. Besides, our trip here has gone pretty well so far. Right, Traveler? <clears throat> uh, hey, you, Northland Bank boy. Aren't you forgetting something? Don't interrupt. It's not often I run into the Traveler like this. Why don't you wait for me over there for a while? Uh, you kidding? 
Aren't you the one looking for us? You really expect us to sit and twiddle our thumbs while you catch up with your friends? Listen to me, boy. If you want your Mora, fine. Why don't you come and take it? Hey, I just said not to interrupt. Oh, by the way, Traveler, the last time I took Tonya and Tuser ice fishing, Tuser said... Hey! That's way over the line! All right, boys! Let's see who has to pay up now! Uh, can you at least let me finish one sentence? Fine. Though the bank told me not to get rough with our clients. You're the ones who started it. This is an act of self-defense. <laughs> you two will have to be my witnesses, okay? I'm sure this won't take long.